Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys my Nintendo Switch game collection. I've got a mix here of physical and digital games here to show you. So without further ado, let's get into it. And the first batch of games I'm going to be showing you is my Mario game collection. And this franchise is probably the franchise that I have the most games in my collection. I've got about five Mario games in total. And the standout games in my Mario collection is definitely the Mario 3D All-Stars and the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game. The Mario 3D All-Stars is definitely a standout because it's got two of my favorite Mario games. The first one being Mario 64, which I went back and played this and 100% it and Mario Galaxy. It was also the first time I actually got to play Super Mario Sunshine and I can't believe I missed out on this one because I really thoroughly enjoyed this game. And of course Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, you can't go wrong with this, this is just a really fun game to play with my partner or when we have friends over. And of course we've got the booster courses coming out so there's just more reason to keep playing this game. And the next game franchise in my collection is The Legend of Zelda. And as you can see, I actually have not one but two copies of Breath of the Wild. And no, it's not because I enjoyed it so much that I went out and bought a second copy. The other is actually just my partner's. But as you can see, I also have The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, which this as a kid was one of my favorite Zelda games, but also the Zelda game that I always had the most trouble with. As a kid, I was never actually able to beat this game. So, you know, naturally I was really happy they brought this to the Switch and was able to finally beat it. And the next game franchise here is a franchise that I've actually been playing since its inception on the PlayStation 2 and that is Monster Hunter. I've got Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate here, which is a port of Monster Hunter Generations on the 3DS. And it's kind of a culmination of all previous Monster Hunter games jam-packed into one anniversary title. So they pretty much added all of the levels, well not all but most of them, and most of the monsters into one game. So there is a ton of content in this game. I think I've probably put over 500 hours in this game. And the next one we have here is Monster Hunter Rise and its expansion pack, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Absolutely fantastic game. Was Did have a bit of a rough start, but I think once Sunbreak came out and we got a few of the free updates, this game honestly really turned out to become a fantastic title and a title that I'm actually still playing and trying to 100%. And I feel like you can't have a Nintendo game collection without at least having some Pokemon games in there. And as you can see here, I have four Pokemon games in total. The standout one definitely being Pokemon Shining Pearl, which I really enjoyed the DS game. So naturally I was going to really enjoy this one. The one that disappointed me the most was probably not much of a shocker to anyone here was Pokemon Violet. And, you know, Pokemon Arceus Legends and Mystery Dungeon, I thought they were, no, I thought they were decent. I probably enjoyed the Mystery Dungeon one a little bit more because I really enjoyed dungeon crawler games. And the game that I've probably put the most hours into my Nintendo Switch, and that is Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've probably put about 800 hours into this game and I've been a fan of the series ever since the original GameCube version. So naturally I picked this one up day one and I honestly probably played this for a year straight hard. And the game that probably surprised me the most in my collection is Metroid Dread. And you know, I haven't been the biggest Metroid fan. I've played games in the past and you know, I thought they were decent, but this game honestly just blew me out of the water. This game was absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed this game. Um, I played it and as soon as I beat it, I replayed the game again on the new game plus mode, I think it is. And I was even contemplating learning to speed run this game. I was really enjoying myself with it. I just didn't want to put it down. So yeah, Metroid Dread was an absolutely fantastic game and honestly the biggest shocker in terms of how much I would enjoy this game without realizing it. And this next game I actually took a bit of a gamble on because, you know, I'm not too big on JRPGs or RPGs in general. And that is Xenoblade Chronicles for the Nintendo Switch. And, you know, I heard a lot of good things about this game and I had played Xenoblade Chronicles X on Wii U. And so, you know what, I took a gamble and I bought this game and, you know, behold, behold and told, I actually, you know, I actually enjoyed this game. It took me a while to get into it. Um, and... 
appreciate the game for what it was. And so, you know, when I finally had that appreciation for the game, I actually, you know, went back and started a new game so I could appreciate, enjoy the game from the very start. And, you know, I did actually beat it. Um, I think by the end of the game, I did kind of have to, you know, push myself to finish it. Um, but, you know, once I beat this game, that was kind of it for me with Xenoblade. Uh, I didn't really want to go with number two or three, you know. I enjoyed this game for what it was, but, you know, I wasn't... In, I didn't feel really inclined or have any incentive to, you know, carry on with the franchise. So yeah, that's Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. And we've just got a couple of random miscellaneous games that I've kind of picked up over the years. Kind of like spur of the moment um, purchases or purchases between me and my partner. The first one here, which is probably the standout, is Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX. This is actually the first game I ever played on the original Sega Master System. And you know, so for nostalgia's sake, so I had to pick this up. It was a little pricey, I think this is going for like $50 or $60. Definitely not worth that price. I would say this is more of a $15, $20 game. But you know, I, nostalgia's sake, I had to pick this up again and kind of relive that childhood aspect of my life. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it, but yeah, a bit too pricey. Alright, and moving on to the digital games in my collection. And these are primarily indie slash retro games because Guys, the Switch is a powerhouse for indie slash retro games, and when there's an eShop sale on, these games go for two to three dollars each. So you can usually mass buy these games and just get a huge chunk of these games to play on the go. Absolutely fantastic console for these sort of games. But yeah, some of the games in my collection are uh, we've got the Contra Collection, which is a 2D run and gun game, which are notorious for being very difficult. And this is a collection, so you've got like three games in this one. You've got games here like Fantasy Star, which is a Sega Genesis dungeon crawler game, and Gunbird, which is a bullet hell game. And then we have sort of the modern indie games, which are being heavily inspired by games like Contra. So they pretty much look and play like them, but they're more modernized. Games like Blazing Chrome, Super Cyborg, Panzer Peloton um, and Hunt Down, which are all fantastic 2D games, you know. So, if you're ever in the mood to play these sort of games and there's an eShop sale going on, definitely worth picking these up because they go for like two to three dollars each. And then, this game, which is kind of came out of nowhere for me, it's called Lunastus and it's kind of inspired by Nintendo 64 games and platforms. Um, but this game is super duper fun. The platforming is top notch in this game and you kind of like have to just like rush through the levels trying to collect as many things as possible but the platforming is just done really well and the level design is awesome. It's super fun just running through the level as fast as possible, jumping on all these platforms trying to get to the end. Um, honestly, it's a fantastic game if you want to just, you know, if you're really into those sort of speed running type of games. Anyway guys, that's my Nintendo Switch game collection. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please leave a like as it really helps me out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and maybe found a game in my collection that you want to pick up for yourself. So anyway guys, that's it for the video. I have an Instagram if you want to follow me there. But until then, I'll catch you next time.